All right, guys, here's something a little different. <clears throat> this is a, a package I've been putting together with some of my, my livestock haulers. Kind of a neat little package. Um, it's very weight conscious, but it's still got all of the uh, all the things that make a, make a Peterbilt great. Uh, you'll notice first thing, it's a short hood, 270 wheelbase. Um, that gives us a little mobility and some ride. Um, this truck's very easily, <clears throat> uh, you can do the same package in a, in a 250 wheelbase. It's really pretty surprising once when you do the math. Uh, wheelbase under 280, whether it's two, whether you're, you know, you're doing a 250, 260, 270, since you do not have any frame inserts under a 280, the uh, weight difference is <clears throat> really pretty minimal. So if you want some wheelbase for some ride and some look, uh, and you can stay under 280, uh, go for it. The, the weight savings is, <clears throat> is, is not that big a deal. This truck's uh, 550 Cummins, 18 speed, big thing, 2050 torque. Um, uh, I'll take torque over horsepower any day. <clears throat> and the guys that have had it, excuse me, will tell you the same. Uh, uh, you can you can upgrade from the 1850 torque to the 2050 for less than you can going 550 horsepower to 600. Um, and I think it's I think it's much smarter. Um, and and the upgrades are the same. When you go to the 600 horse, they're still going to ask for a lot of the heavier duty components that you get with the torque. But for whatever reason, uh, upgrading the torque is cheaper. Both of them technically are just computer settings from Cummins. Uh, uh, when you go to the bigger torque, there is a heavier drive line involved in, in bigger rear ends, where most of your rear ends are DSP 40s, if you're familiar with Dana's. Um, <clears throat> uh, these are DSH for uh, heavy duty. Three axle disc brakes, 10 and 3 quarter frame rails. Uh, we put a we put a short air slide on it to save weight. Uh, no lube aluminum Holland fifth wheel. Uh, nice little savings there. That's a spendy piece, um, uh, but but for these guys it's worth it. Disc brakes, an absolute have to. Um, th the money saved I think is over the life of the truck is just amazing. You know, I personally am not a fan of the Durabrite wheels, but for these guys that are off-road and they run so hard, they don't get the, the luxury of going to the truck wash as much as everybody else, uh, Durabrites are a great fit. We didn't do any, any deck plates, any grab handles. Um, the person that buys this truck is probably going to put a, uh, a half fender on it or maybe full fenders. That's why I did no quarter fenders. Um, we can we can uh, we can put quarters on it, halves, what, whatever you want. Fuel capacity very important to this industry. Uh, 120 on this side, 150 on the other side. That's a uh, um, 270 total. Of course, they're polished. Two straps. Didn't do four straps. Don't want the weight. Don't need them. Not that important. Polished def tank cover. Of course, the polished battery box, polished aluminum tanks, <clears throat> and all of your, let's see if I can see them here, all of your other tanks on the inside of the frame rail, I usually do in steel, but we did these uh, in aluminum, and we saved uh, oh, about 45 pounds for $200 and over the life of the truck that's pretty smart money so we, we elected to do that three batteries instead of four again we're we're trying to conserve some weight and three will do it all day long uh, uh, especially since we've got the 48 inch sleeper we're not we're not uh, feeding a big house and um, 
uh, doesn't have a refrigerator in it, so on and so forth. So don't really need that fourth battery. It would honestly live on the two. Uh, three, three's just nice, especially in the cold winter months. Put an aluminum bell housing on this truck, uh, which I do all my trucks instead of the cast iron. That's another not expensive option. Saves a good chunk of weight. Full synthetics in the transmission, the hubs, the rear ends. That gives your drive line. Uh, it gives your transmission a three three hundred warranty, uh, and your rear ends five year seven fifty. So that is a that's a big plus. I know I'm kind of bouncing all over the place here, and I apologize. Eleven R twenty two fives, which is the exact same height as a low pro 24 which i do on all my typical over the road van trucks with the 2050 torque he's going to be just fine he's going to love this 336 gear that's in it uh, with, with that extra torque he's going to be right there he can be 80 85,000 pounds still get a little bit of fuel mileage and still have plenty of pulling power Michelin steers on the front, Bridgestones in the rear. Um, uh, this is the steer tire that I would put on my personal truck if, uh, if I was ordering myself a truck. Uh, X-Line Energy, they're the best wearing, best riding. Um, there is not a better steer tire out there. Polished around, chrome bumper. Don't know if we if we've noticed it, but you guys that, that follow me, black cherry, just a beautiful metallic color. Uh, looks kind of like a really deep dark maroon right now in this early morning sun. Uh, looks black when I pulled in the parking lot this morning. Um, it'll look like a dark candy red at the end of the day. Just a really neat color. Uh, one of my most popular colors. And I try not to order it very often because I don't. <clears throat> I don't like seeing my parking lot full of all the same color trucks. Polished boxes, the 15 inch premium air cleaners. Polished 150 gallon tank. Did the stainless vents on the sleeper. Lighted entry step. This truck is completely pre wired. Air cleaner lights, chicken lights, cab lights, sleeper lights. It's all pre wired. It's ready to go. Weather seal connectors, just plug and play. I've got all that stuff. Heated fuel filter, remote lube. All the fuel lines are Arctic wrapped. Um, the cab sleeper, floor walls, everything. It's got all the extra insulation package in it. Again, that's the key to staying cool in the summer. It's a huge help in the winter, um, but <clears throat> a really, really, really big help in the summer. Greasable front. Spring pins, a lot of guys don't, don't include that. Uh, I think it's an absolute must have no matter what you're doing. Uh, removable bug screen behind the radiator. Another little, little place where I like to spend money the Delco brushless alternator. Uh, most of my stock trucks, I put the uh, pack car on it because it's $350 less. And, and that helps, and it's a good piece. But this brushless alternator will last much, much longer. It is a $350 upgrade. Uh, if you value your time, your downtime, like you should, that should be a no brainer. I put Monroe gas magnum shocks on this. 
not a not a big dollar upgrade uh, like 120 bucks versus the the factory shocks and I think the ride is is definitely worth it another shot of those Durabrite wheels I've got two of these trucks. I've got this uh, Black Cherry, and then I have a uh, real pretty metallic brown. Take a look inside the sleeper here. I didn't really touch on it, but. Antenna on the back of the sleeper. CB antenna, uh, the six lights. The back glass still not this is uh mid-november and still not available to get that sliding back glass yet um i just find it hard to believe we're not gonna be able to get sliding back glass again but they did take it away and that's what we've got uh, this truck has the mid-level sound package which is the best you can get in a flat top uh, and that includes the amplifier subwoofer shot of the platinum interior from here <clears throat> again the, the environment that this truck's probably going to be in I did rubber floors up front uh, still doing keyless entry here here's the number one selling point on this truck 17836 it's a great lightweight for everything that it has on it. Um, yes, you can always build a truck lighter, but anything under 18 with the, with the current emissions package is pretty fantastic. Full gauge package, <clears throat> excuse me. Left the dash black, I've got the rosewood dash. If you want the rosewood dash, I can put it in just like with these Sears Atlas seats. Um, if these aren't your style, I've got every kind of seat in the world and uh, be happy to trade you out. Factory CB. Power windows locks. Tilt telescope. 18 speed. Chrome stick. One of those little touches that, that not everybody does. Very few do. You'll notice that this is a little different than the 63, which they call a 72, that I that I usually do. Uh, control panel, full size door, carpet in the sleeper, um, with with this setup with the platinum interior you can't get a rubber floor mat in the sleeper i really kind of wanted to put one in but um just what we got lots of storage like i said again the, the environment that this truck's going in uh, <clears throat> it's all work these uh these guys run hard and uh don't need the comforts that, that some of the other guys desire My name is Steve Carboni. You can always reach me at 918-808-5638. Uh, you can call me or text me. If I don't answer, either uh, leave me a voicemail or shoot me a text either way. I'm, uh, when I'm not filming on this phone, I'm, I'm, it's usually up to my ears. So uh, if I don't get right, right back to you, bear with me. If you got questions about financing, options, been ha I've had a lot of calls on paint codes lately, which is fine. I'll give you some paint codes um, if you've got a project you're working on or or just need one to uh, answer some questions. I take trades. Uh, I'm near I'm near a major airport. A lot of guys fly in, drive home. 
been doing this over 15 years. If there's anything I can help you with, uh, you probably don't have a question I haven't answered before. And uh, I'd be more than happy to help you out. So contact me anytime. I uh, appreciate you guys subscribing to this channel. Check out my Facebook page, Peterbilt Steve. And uh, uh, we'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks.